Hello, beautiful, sexy people. It's your girl, Natalie, back with the absolute shortest video you'll probably ever find on my channel. I am literally just on here making a quick, quick, quick video of me weighing in with my old scale and my new scale so that we can compare. So let's take a look. As you may remember, my old scale, which is this one on the left, last time I weighed in was giving me some issues. It was being really wonky and weird and giving me all types of different weights within just a couple of minutes. So I got this new one, which is the one on the right, and it's actually a body fat scale and it comes with an app and the app will be able to tell me my body fat percentage, muscle and water. It actually comes with more information than that, but those are the three that I'll focus on besides my weight. And I will put that information at the end of the video. So according to my old scale, I am currently at 282.9, which is a bit of an increase. It's about 1.3 pounds up from last time, but I'm not concerned about it because I do know my period is on the way again. I feel like it's always on the way, but yeah, so that little bit of increase is not really a concern. So the new scale has a thing called AccuCheck where you step on it and it kind of calculates your weight and then you step off of it. It tells you to step off of it and then it like double checks the accuracy of that weight. So it might fluctuate a little bit from when you step on it to when you step off of it. But for me, it stayed the same at 284.3, which yes, it is a little bit higher than my old scale, but that's to be expected with a new scale. They're all different. I kind of figured it was going to be different anyways. And the fact that it's an increase is not really a concern for me. All right, so now we are looking at the app that is associated with the scale. And again, we can see that my weight is 284.3 pounds. And now we're gonna look at that second row of information, the top row, I don't really care. But the second row is giving my body fat and muscle and, bot and water weight. So we've got 58.2% for the body fat. 16.3% for muscle mass and 35% for body water. So that is the information I really care the most about when it comes to these types of scales. And that's what I'm going to focus on, but I will include it in every weigh in video. So that's going to be cool. And I'm thinking that I'm probably going to weigh in on my old scale and my new scale just for the next few weigh ins until I get more comfortable with the new scale and the differences that I'm seeing. All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for checking it out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.